morning to you all. Welcome back to another week in my life in New York City. I just took a shower. I'm in my towel wrap. This thing has changed my life, you guys. I got it on Amazon. It's so nice. I can just walk around my apartment. I don't have to be dressed yet, but I'm not like in the nude. So this is just amazing and it makes me really happy. <laughs> I just took a shower, did my skincare, and like, wow, glazed donut, hello. Getting ready for the day, it's Monday. I was going to go for my morning walk as I've been doing lately. However, I woke up and we had cramps. So you know what that means. I'll get my walk in later, but the mornings are always like the worst. Like I just feel so. So I cocooned up, lit a candle, and just got some computer work done instead. Listen to my jazz music I'm using the Divi leave-in conditioner. It smells so good if you like their other products. Getting ready because Brooke and I are recording an episode of the podcast. I just love our podcast so much. Like I look forward to podcasting every week. And if you don't listen to my podcast with Brooke Michio, you should. It's called Gals on the Go Podcast. New episodes every single Wednesday. We do video as well on YouTube and it's just so fun. Like we have guests on sometimes, but most of the times it's just us two gals gabbing. I talk about a lot of things that not on purpose, but I feel like I just feel so comfortable on the podcast that like even more comes out of my mouth. So if you want like the real tea, I think it's just when you're talking to your best friend, they just pull things out of you. And I'm like, wow, did I just say that on the internet? So just a self plug, go listen to the podcast. Comment down below, are you guys a spray deodorant person or stick? I like both, but I always find people are asking me to use my deodorant. So I like having a spray for that reason. And it never melts in the sun or anything. Okay, we need to do our makeup and get dressed, but just wanted to say hello and welcome back to my channel. Subscribe if you're new. Total transformation. Just finished my makeup, my hair's done, and I'm gonna walk to the studio actually because I've been walking to, we, do, we use a couple different studios in this studio. It's like a very lovely walk. So I'm gonna go for it. Hopefully I won't be a mess by the time I get there. We have to record a little segment and then a full episode. So I'm just wearing this. I think I'm gonna wear this Abercrombie dress every single day. I'll have it linked on my LTK. I probably already do. I like how it's tight up here and then it slowly cinches out or flows out. It's just a very flattering cut with sneakers, of course, because we're walking. Where are we finding, these are my Reeboks. I like need more cute sneakers because in New York, like sandals just don't cut it because we walk everywhere. And then I'm bringing another dress to change into for the full podcast. We're doing an episode all about our summer bucket list of the year. Every year we do this. It just reminds me of like OG, like Tumblr days when we'd draw out our summer bucket list and then post it on Tumblr. So that's what we're gonna do. We do it almost every summer. So I'm excited to see Brooke, catch up with her. And maybe I'll grab a coffee on along the way because you gotta do a little sweet treat, right? Just finished recording. Brooke's changing into her trendy flip flops. Yes, because not, it's in a, not in a uh, pedicure way, in a, <laughs> in a Matilda, Matilda Jerf way. Carolyn Bissette kind of way. Carolyn yeah. Bissette. <laughs> I love it. Recording's done. I changed back into this dress though because it's way comfier and flowy and perfect for summer. It's hot out though, so I just bought a water bottle. For my walk back, it's like 30 minutes walking there and back, 4,000 steps. So I feel confident that I will definitely hit 10K steps today, and if not pretty early in the day too. Uh oh, I just went to drink it and like didn't even have the cap open. Back from recording the podcast now. I've turned into a bit of a matches girly instead of, I mean, I still use a lighter sometimes, but ever since I discovered like longer matches, I'm not as scared to light my candles because with the short matches, even though I literally collect them, they start burning so fast and I get nervous, but this is so satisfying. And these huge ones from, I bought this candle at the Teak the other day and they gave me this with my purchase. It's like ginormous matches. I was like, I, I could get behind that. Got my smoothie, of course. This is the OPP from Juice Generation. It literally just tastes like a chocolate milkshake, so I love it. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Back now, I'm pretty much here the rest of the evening. I booked an evening Pilates class. I normally like the mornings, but like I said, when I'm on my period, the mornings are just really, they're not great. <laughs> so I'm gonna do an evening class to kind of wind down, which will be nice. So I have from now until then to get a lot of work done. I wanna do some filming and then computer work, which is more tedious. So I'm gonna do the fun stuff first, some like TikToks, fun, just like more organic content. So I'm gonna be traveling a lot next week or next month. So I just like have had all these ideas and I wanna execute them before I'm like in Florida, I'm going to Illinois for a family reunion. I guess I can kind of give you guys a breakdown of my summer. So we got 4th of July, I'm gonna be home in Florida. I'm so excited, I'm going to Tampa for like 
four or five days, kind of quick-ish. I usually go for like a long period of time, but I wanted to be in New York all of June, so that's what I'm doing, that's why I'm here. Going home, Ryan's coming with me for 4th of July, and then from Florida, we're gonna fly to Illinois for our annual family reunion. I'm so excited, we always stay at my grandparents' house on the lake, it's just, oh, it's so wholesome, and it really soothes my soul. Like, I need it every year. It's like a nice reset, and I'm excited to see my grandparents, my cousins, and Ryan's coming with us this year. He's been once before, but it was a year that not all of our family came, uh, so I'm really excited because this is gonna be like the full-fledged family reunion uh, So it'll be really special to have him there and then we come back and I'm here for like a week But then I go somewhere. Oh to the Hamptons for two weeks I'm doing a house in the Hamptons with my friend Kellyanne my friend Seb Maria and I think Ryan and Kelly's boyfriend Landon and Maria's boyfriend are gonna be there too So it's gonna be a full house super fun friends will visit on the weekend similar kind of vibe Brooke, me and Katie weren't able to get a house together this year. I think Brooke has a wedding one of the weekends and then the other weekend she has something else. And then Katie has like, basically our schedules couldn't work out. So we weren't gonna do a Hamptons house. And then Kelly approached me about joining theirs. And I was like, I'm available, let's do it. So I think I'm still gonna get to see Katie and Brooke when I'm out there, they might come visit, which will be nice. And then August, August I want to move. I want to move in August. I'm really excited. We're gonna start touring apartments. Well, I kind of already have started touring apartments, but really need to like get down to business with that. So I'm obviously gonna vlog that for you guys, working with Mackenzie Kyle to kind of see all the, all the fun places. So I'm excited to take you guys along that. But I'm gonna start doing those like ASAP because I'm gonna be gone most of July. So I want to like see places while I can. I don't I'll come back to the Hamptons or come back to the city from the Hamptons, but would rather not. And then in August, what else? I'm hoping to move in August, like mid August. And then also in mid August, like right after, I really want to go to London to see the Eros tour. So I'm trying to find some peeps to go with me because I've never been to London and I want to see Eros tour one more time because Taylor basically said like December is the last show. Like we all thought maybe she was adding more US dates next year. Doesn't sound like that. If she has more, I'm gonna be upset. Not, I'm like, I'm gonna be happy for everyone, but I'm gonna be like, if I like scratch all this up to like go to London and then she adds more in the States. But either way, I've always wanted to go to London and I've never really had an opportunity to and this just sounds perfect. So I was talking to Brooke about it today. I might be able to convince her. But anyways, that's kind of my little summer update. I'm for sure moving. At first I was like, maybe I won't move if I don't find anything, but I've been on Street Easy. I've been seeing things that I definitely really like. And I'm just like ready for a new neighborhood. I really like. Um, Nomad, I like Chelsea, like West Chelsea. I like Tribeca, of course, Hudson Square, Soho. Um, so I'll be kind of looking all around the map, but yeah, I'm ready to try a new neighborhood. I used to live in Lower East Side, now I'm in Greenwich Village, and then I'll move on. Hope hoping to go a little bit more west, because I love being by the water, but yeah, updates to go. That is all done for now. I don't want to look at a screen for a little bit, um, but got a lot of work done, did some filming, like I said. Um, and now I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna take off my makeup, which, but I just need to because I'm going to an evening Pilates class, as I told you guys earlier. So um, I don't really like working out with makeup on. I mean, I would if I like had plans tonight, but my plan is to come back home and chill. So I should just take off my makeup because then I, I don't want to like lay on the Pilates reformer. And sometimes we do stuff on our side, and my makeup would get it would just be a whole thing. So we're gonna wash my face. Get cozy. Well, not too cozy because we gotta work out and then come back and make dinner. Got my Pilates socks. They have little grippies on them, so it's easier. Or a lot of people go barefoot. This is my Pilates outfit. I absolutely love this. I've talked about this before. This is a pair of leggings and a little tank from the brand Hilara. It's just a very flattering fit. And then I've got my new Havianas on. They're square toe though. I was fully influenced by Pookie. I love, I've always worn Javianas. I have a few other pairs in my closet, but I wanted to try out the square toe and they're so cute and just feminine. So we're gonna do a little evening Pilates. I'm really excited and then I'll head back. <laughs> Honestly, really relaxed me. Kind of was a nice wind down from the day. 
gonna go grab a couple groceries. I just, and I need to hit 10K steps and I'm not there yet. <laughs> Back from the grocery store. Super quickly, I'll do a haul. I'm actually gonna run to the nail salon before they close because I desperately need a pedicure and I'm shooting a ton of stuff tomorrow and like sandals and stuff. Pretzel crisps. I'm just realizing I like to have a little snack because sometimes I just don't ever buy snacks. I'm not a snacker, more of like a three meals a day gal, but sometimes I just want a snack. And these are good with like peanut butter or hummus. More chamomile tea, half and half for my coffee, of course. And then just so many good culture cottage cheese. My favorite thing in the entire world. I didn't have one today because I didn't have any left. So I'll get some tomorrow, um, but I'm a happy girl. Really random grocery um, haul because like I didn't need stuff for dinner tonight. I already had those groceries, but and then I got some lemons and limes. And I actually brought a reusable bag with me, which is always just a win in my books, but I'm gonna put away the refrigerated items and I'm literally just gonna head back out the door because they're about to close, but they're staying open for a quick pedicure. And the place I go is actually so relaxing. Like they play relaxing music and they're all so kind. And, I mean, who doesn't love a foot massage? So that's gonna be my little post Pilates reward slash my toes just really need it. So I'm literally putting my AirPods back in and we are heading back outside, but that's the haul. Back now, here are my cutesy toes. I did like a bright red color and I love it. I switched to my orthopedic flip flops. I, I walk around my apartment in these cause they help keep my arches lifted. I know, so cute. For dinner tonight, I'm gonna have my favorite. Um, no surprise here, I haven't gotten tired of it yet. We've got green beans, of course, and meatballs. I've got these Rayo's meatballs that I just love so much. They are so tasty. I had three last night for dinner with green beans, and now tonight I will have three more with my green beans. It's perfect. Two in one. Special. I was going to make my favorite salad tonight that you guys know I love, but honestly... This feels more like a dinner meal and then salad can be for like lunch tomorrow. Just sounds like my journey. I've been cooking and just eating at home so much more. I swear it's just cause I'm not traveling at all this month. So I've been able to kind of like get back into a routine. So hopefully I can stick to it even though I'll be traveling next month. Obviously watching Summer I Turned Pretty, I'm now on season two. Just mourning the fact that there is no season three this summer, but it's fine. Vibes are right. I'm gonna go to bed soon and I'll see you guys in the morning. for Pilates. I'm just bringing my socks in here. It's Tuesday. It's a beautiful sunny day once again. I'm so grateful. Um, we have a fun day. Well, not really. I mean, <laughs> just another day, but it's a good day. I just feel like a changed woman when I put in hair extensions. <laughs> Pilates was great. Got my smoothie. You guys know the drill. I'll show you guys my outfit. I'm headed to a lunch meeting with a brand that I love so much. So here is the outfit. I don't know how this angle is, but I love this sweater um, short sleeve top. Like it's so perfect for summer. It's like sweater, but it's short sleeve. I also have to shout out once again, my Ebby bra, EBY. They have amazing bras and it looks so seamless and good under tank tops, shirts. So that's the bra I'm wearing. These are Pandora jewelry. I don't know where these earrings are from. Belt is Orion Collective. Park horseshoe jeans. And then these shoes are Sam Edelman. They're so cute. They're like mesh ballet flats, but I like how you can't see my toes. Covers the toes. So very, very cute. A little outfit sandwich moment. I'm just gonna roll with this tote because it's just kind of been my current bag and it has everything in it. I don't really feel like transferring. Um, so yeah, we're going to this place called Kaima, Kima, K-Y-M-A on 18th street. And I'm really excited because I've heard it's a fun spot actually to go for your birthday. So I'm gonna scope it out. Obviously it's like 12 o'clock on a Tuesday, but I wanna get the vibes. I've never been. I think it's Mediterranean food, which I've been really into right now. So I actually need to go. <laughs> i 
been a long time since we've chatted. I got back, my assistant came over, and we shot some campaigns, and one of the things I got flowers for, and I just wanted some flowers for my apartment, so. I got these beautiful blue hydrangeas. It is so hot out, but I didn't think much of it. And then Lucy was like, no, no, there's a heat wave in New York right now. Or like, I don't even know if it's just in New York. Like there's a heat wave. And then literally my, when I looked over it's it, sometimes it shows news and it's like heat wave rushes through. And I was like, oh, that's why it's so hot. So I'm glad I chose the day to shoot a, multiple different outfits outside. But, and of course I got a, afternoon latte which always just puts me in the best mood i'm so obsessed with this little black linen dress it's from primark i got it in white too and a different pair of ballet flats these are from primark but you guys will see that go follow me on instagram and tiktok but yeah i'm gonna settle down for a little bit get some work done gotta go to the bank and do adult things and then i have an uh, appointment at alteration specialist to get some things altered because i'm a short queen <laughs> I mean, I don't think I'm that short, but I am 5'3", and like half the pants I buy are sh long on me. So I'm going to get some things tailored. And then Ryan and I have fun plans tonight. So it's a good day. Okay, just got back from the tailor. Touched up my hair a little bit because it is just so hot out. I have this Primark dress on, but I put on sneakers because Ryan and I are going to go to dinner. We like both randomly love this restaurant, Dos Caminos. It's a chain in New York, but their queso is so good. And it's in meatpacking, and I just love it over there. And then after, we're going to watch the sunset. Hopefully the timing works. And then we're going to go to Chelsea Piers and play golf. Not like actually play golf because clearly I'm wearing this. But um, they have like kind of like a top golf driving range situation where it's like out and you see the water and it's really pretty. Um, so Ryan and I are gonna do that for 55 minutes because I gotta work on my hitting game. Like I often miss the ball. I'm not good at golf. So um, I'm excited for a little date night because in the winter time, it's like, oh, what should we do? It's, you know, it's a Tuesday night. Like, I guess you could come over and we could just watch TV, but like, it's nice outside. And then we'll like go for walks or whatever. But I was like, we should do an activity. And I was the one who thought of this? So he was really excited. He was like, I will book it right now. Um, so yeah, this bag is also from Primark. It's a perfect little beach bag. I got my Reebok sneakers on. I can't wait to take you guys along. Let's go do this. I miss Ryan brought his own clubs for this. He only needs a few, but he literally, they don't fit in a golf bag. Or they do, but like he doesn't need his whole golf bag. So he <laughs> Play with these, so well no, of course, you gotta practice with them. We just finished dinner and now we're heading to watch the sunset. And the sun looks stunning, I can't wait to see it up close. We're trying a new hairstyle today. I sometimes do the curly updo, but I didn't feel like doing a bun, so I curled the ponytail and left it and have these pieces in the front. Headed to film an episode of AM Uncovered. I'm very excited. I'm having Lindsay Metzler, the host of We Met at Acme on, and she just had a little baby Zachary, so I'm like hoping I get to meet him. I have listened to her podcast for years, literally since college. I've learned so much from her. Brooke and I actually were on We Met at Acme last year, and we had her on our podcast as well. Um, and I'm very grateful that she's letting me into her home today to see her morning routine. I feel like she's really got it all going on, got her life together, has a baby. So I'm really excited to get into her morning routine. I'm gonna walk there and we're gonna have a great day. I don't know if you guys saw this online, but there's a literal dragon, I think, on the top of the Empire State Building. I literally, when I saw it online, I thought it was AI, it was fake, but it's for the new House of Dragon. So crazy. I'm very excited about it. It's actually with Danielle. Matzone, who is the caviar queen of Back now, the episode went so well, and now I'm cooking up some ground beef, and I scrambled some eggs, and I'm gonna pour them over and make a little scramble. I, last time I, what I did, actually I'll pour it over now. Last time I cooked all of the ground beef, which was nice and like easy for me. Oh, see I shouldn't be doing this at the same time. Um, but then like, 
it kind of stored well in my fridge. I don't know. So I'm trying this to make it more fresh instead and put the rest in like Tupperware and I'll cook it each day. It takes like a little bit more time, but yeah, this looks freaking phenomenal. I'm gonna add an avocado, like stunning. Breakfast was so yummy and now I'm, I was eating a couple spoonfuls of this peanut butter. I forgot how good peanut butter is. And I changed it to comfy clothes, obviously, immediately. Even though that dress is really comfortable, my apartment is freezing, and that's how I like it because it's so hot outside. And I have my blue light glasses on. They're so big, but I just love them. They're like, I'm in work mode. I put on my blue light glasses. I seriously see such a difference if I wear blue light glasses when I'm working or not, like on a computer or screens, especially in the morning if I go on my computer right away or anything like that, or on my phone even, I try to put these on. I'm hopping on a call with my team, Brooke's team, Brooke, um, to talk about merch. Um, sorry. Calls are done. I just got some packages in the mail that I would do a little, well, I already unboxed because it's just so messy. So I thought I'd show you guys what I got. First thing is this dress from House of CB. If I ever have an event or for like podcast stuff, I often will go to House of CB because their stuff is so flattering. Like the dress I wore to my Electric Picks jewelry launch, like Tea at the Plaza event, was from House of CB, and um, Brooke and I are doing a live podcast taping in New York City this Saturday. I'm so excited. So hopefully when this video is up, some of you guys came. I'm pumped about it, but we're gonna wear pink because it's with Fresh Beauty. Um, and of course, it's very Gals in the Go-esque. It's this beautiful fit and flare little mini dress off the shoulder, but then it has straps. I am hoping this fits nicely because it is what I'm banking on wearing this Saturday, so I don't have much time. I found a gift card. This never happens. I found a gift card in my wallet from Aritzia because I do remember a while ago I did a return and for whatever reason they could only return it in store credit so they gave me a gift card and it had like $150 on it. So I got some basics because you guys know that's my obsession right now. I can't stop wearing shirts like this. This beautiful white little corset strapless top with the um, like little fold over moment. And then there's a zipper in the back. I think they also had it in black. Um, but you can't go wrong with this. They're just so flattering, so cute, immediately looks, makes you look put together. And then I got, I hope I like these skirts because I got one of each color. I love these little bubble skirts I've been seeing everywhere online. It kind of reminds me of skirts we wore when we were younger. Things always come back, I guess. Um, but it's so cute, it makes me want to be like in Europe just flouncing around, but it'll work in New York too. I wonder how this skirt would look with the white shirt, I don't know. But I got it in white. I think it looks so cute. A little white tank, some flip flops, very cute. And then I also got it in black. So updates to come. Hopefully it's not too short on me. And then a couple of random Amazon purchases because that's always fun. I've heard everyone talk about these like clean face wipes. And I was reflecting. I was like, every time I wash my face, which is every day, I just like, use my shower towel afterwards. Like I don't have a designated towel, which is also just bad. It's disgusting. So this isn't the brand everyone uses but this is a different brand this is clean facial it just says clean facial towels on amazon but i got this one because it came with a little dispenser and this goes with my bathroom and is very nice and sleek and the other one comes in like blue packaging i don't know so hopefully i'll be able to get this sticker off and then like it'll just look like this in my bathroom and then you just peel one out you wash your face and you dry it with these so and it comes with two of these refill packs which is nice i got more pilates socks if you guys care i've never gotten a pair like these that look like little ballet shoes, which I thought was so darling. Um, so I got black and gray, and then the front have like little ballerina straps. Fun fact, I used to do ballet when I was younger. I was on point for a little bit too. That was hard, but then it has the grippies on the bottom. And then I also got them in gray. And then I was fully influenced by Lauren Wolf. She posted these bio dance, bio collagen, real deep masks. And she posted a TikTok where she put this mask on on her flight. I think it was to Europe. And she kept it on the full flight. And basically, you keep it on till it gets clear. Or that's what she did. Oh, no, yeah. It says, leave it on for at least three to four hours or, in, or until it turns transparent. Once the mask becomes transparent, fully remove it. But I think, like, once it turns transparent, it's like when it fully dispensed all the product and all the collagen goodness. It's hydrating, pore minimizing, and firming, and it was on her Amazon shop. So 
Lauren, I purchased. And then lastly, I got this Tatcha serum stick. It's just a treatment and touch-up balm for eyes and face. So if like things are getting a little crusty, just go in with the serum. Um, I had someone use this on me and I loved it. So that's my little haul. Now I'm gonna go get my nails done. It's time. I think I'm gonna do pink with chrome. But this was a fun run. I really liked this. It was like airbrush. We're back now and I got my nails done. Love them. I'm jamming to music and I'm cleaning my apartment. I'm trying this thing where I'm wearing bala bangles and I'm like hanging stuff up. And I gotta say, it's a good workout. So like I'm hanging up clothes. I'm like, ooh. So something a little efficient because I ended up canceling my Pilates class today because I was so sore. So we're doing this instead. I am so happy. I've spent the last couple of hours cleaning and decluttering because I ultimately would be moving and I'm going to be gone all of July. So I'm like trying to do some of the move stuff now um, because when you move, you shouldn't have to bring all of your clutter with you and then clean out there. Like I'm trying to clean out here. So everything that'll go with me will be things that I want there. So I'm like tackling like a couple times a week, like different parts of my apartment, like literally cabinets and stuff like that. But I just showered, I dermaplaned my face, no peach fuzz, washed my hair. These PJs are shop PJs by PJ and they have a ton of little New York City things like a pretzel, Brooklyn Bridge, a taxi, like a dinosaur for the Museum of Natural History, hot dog, espresso martini, so cute, so now it's finally time for dinner. We're gonna do my favorite salad, which consists of this Whole Foods Italian mix, cold rotisserie chicken, and then my Good Seasons Italian dressing that I made with apple cider vinegar. Oh, onions, and then Romano cheese to top it all off. I have a tomato, I could add it before it goes bad. I just get so lazy, like all this is so easy to just kind of throw together, and for me, I have to make it easy, otherwise I'm not gonna eat it when it comes to a salad, because salads are daunting, but this is an easy salad. But I'm gonna cut up this tomato, put it all together, and watch some TV and eat my salad. joke right now. I didn't like the salad at all, can you tell? <laughs> I will say, I have my sleeves rolled up, I'm watching Clara's vlog. I knew this salad, I obviously finished it, but it tasted different. I forgot to add my favorite ingredient, the pepperoncini. Oh my God, that's so sad. Welcome to the bathroom. Um, I'm filming another AM Uncovered tomorrow morning. So I thought I would kind of style my hair tonight, so I just need to touch it up tomorrow. I already put heat protectant in and I just, every couple months I have to talk about how much I love this, especially in the summer. This is the Dyson Air Street. It's just so good. It literally straightens your hair with air. It's so perfect for summer. If you um, were like outside all day and then you go in and shower and you only have 30 minutes to get ready for like dinner, it's perfect. It smooths out your hair so much. Arguably, sometimes I think it makes my hair too straight and like no body. Um, but it's pretty incredible. It works on all hair types. I watched a whole presentation on it. It was very impressive. It's just a matter of how many passes through you have to do. For my hair, I only have to pass through it like twice, which is nice. But yeah. Hair is done, literally took me seven minutes. Um, obviously when I wake up tomorrow, I know I'm gonna have to like do things to it, but it's pretty good. I feel like I need, to, I literally just got a haircut, but when I got a haircut, she was like, I don't wanna cut off everything that you need cut off because you're gonna be sad. Cause I was so proud of how long my hair is, but I guess, so she just like dusted it, but like really, I guess we should have cut it more. And I'm like, no, look at all that length, but like, like when my hair is straight, I'm like, wow, my hair is, I mean, that's that's long for me. I'm gonna get on the couch now, watch some TV and chill. 
except what time is it? 9, 10. There's one other area I wanted to tackle. Should I tackle it right now? I have this area here that like pisses me off because like that over there looks so nice. But then I don't know, I guess I could switch this to that corner. Cause like, it's just like when you first walk in, it's like, boom, clutter. But like, this is my landing area. It's like my supplements, my tech stuff, like lip balms, random papers. Like you need a landing area. Like it has to look like I lived here, my gosh. But I don't know, I'm kind of getting tired. And this is, you know what? No, this is like, uh, in the next few days project. Thursdays. Today's a packed day. Today's a day where I'm dumb because I didn't do like my full face of makeup. Well, I, I like did, but I didn't do like foundation. I tried out this foundation stick that I actually really liked, but it was definitely more lighter. Anyways, I forgot like, you know, I'm doing AM Uncovered right now, coming back, shooting some things here, going to record the podcast, and then have an event tonight that I'm literally so excited about. So I'm probably gonna have to redo my makeup at some point. My makeup's just being weird recently. Like it's sitting on my face weird. I don't know why. That's why I dermaplaned my skin last night. I thought maybe that would help. Like obviously it like looks good from afar, but like up close it looks like, like it's not, it's like sitting on top of my skin. I don't know what's happening, but going to record. I am uncovered with a comedian and content creator, Benton McClintock. I'm so excited. Here's my outfit. I'm, into, I'm in a rush because I want to walk there. Reformation top, Abercrombie jeans, sneakers, belt is below the belt. Rings I got at a shop in Soho, like someone on the street. And then some silver earrings, I think from Love AJ. So bringing my Freya bag. Did an AM uncovered with the founder of Freya. Her name's Jenny. It's on my Instagram right now. So good. I love her. Her apartment was sick and love the bread. So let's go have an amazing day. I last minute decided to put on a hat. I've never worn a hat to record I am uncovered. So we're gonna see how this goes. But it's with Benton. He's like chill, cool guy. So hopefully this will go out well. I feel like it kind of completes the outfit. My hair was feeling blah. Stopped by a Paz Cafe. I was literally on the street yesterday getting my nails done. I've been on the Lower East Side a lot lately. It brings me back to like my freshman year living in New York. But I got an iced decaf latte. Puts me in the best mood, I can't lie. We are here with Benton <laughs> in the office. <laughs> I'm Benton McClintock and that was my AM Uncovered. I'm off work. Oh my God, what's wrong? My patient freezes a cavity. Just stopped by Delaney's apartment and she made me realize that this might be my last time seeing it because she's moving. It looks so beautiful. I'm gonna miss this place a lot. I really like it, but on to new adventure. Great first apartment. Oh my God, hello. There I am. I am just gonna miss this kitchen. We've cooked some meals in here. It's so clean. You keep this place so clean. What's this cake? Was this your birthday cake? Yeah, my mom got it for me. It's a cotton candy cake. No way. That's so cool, Oh well, RIP, on to new adventures. I am sweating in places like you shouldn't be sweating. Woo, walked all the way back. 10K club, we're still going strong um, in the month of June, walking 10,000 steps a day. Woo, um, makeup is still looking good. Maybe I'll re redo it for my event tonight, I don't really know, but either way, I'm like, I need to get undressed immediately. I wanted to say though, I've been hearing so much about this singer, Chapel Roan, and it's great fun music. I just started listening to them and 
I'm really enjoying it. So I thought I would um, let you guys know because I keep hearing about Chaperone. It's like, I haven't even listened to their music. Oh my God, I'm so hot. But the episode was so funny, you guys. It's like the funniest one we've ever done. Like obviously, because he's a comedian. But oh, I'm out of breath. You guys have to go follow. Well, obviously follow me on Instagram, but go watch my episode that I do with him. It'll be in like, I think it should be up in a few days by the time this vlog is up, so. Anywho, I'm gonna tidy up around here as I literally always do and basically walk around my apartment naked because I'm so hot. Just got my groceries delivered from Whole Foods. So do a little grocery haul. I didn't realize that they sold the Carbone sauce my dad was telling me. So for dinner very soon, I'm thinking to do spicy vodka with chicken and pasta that sounds really nice or just you know just need to have that on hand bananas apples avocados got more just like spray oil for my pans got more olive oil cold pressed um pulled rotisserie chicken for my salad broccoli because i thought that would be a good side with this meal i was thinking of i got more of my sliced pepperoncini because they're so good in these salads two bags of hard-boiled eggs i can't remember which brand i like better so I got both. Um, more uh, trash bags, the best salad mix ever, organic Italian mix. Peanut butter because I'm clearly in my peanut butter era, but I can't eat it around Brooke because she's allergic. <laughs> and then black beans. That's the haul, I'm gonna put this all away now. Okay, just shot some things, got some work done, all the things turning off my TV. I had like jazz on. I'm gonna blow out the candles. I'm gonna meet Brooke at the podcast studio. We're gonna podcast. And this is my little outfit. I'm wearing this dress from J. Crew. She said she was wearing a dress. So I was like, I will match the energy. It's wrinkly, but I kind of feel like it looks like it's wrinkly on purpose. I don't know. Hopefully, but yeah, put the extensions in. We did, I don't even know the last time I filmed. But yeah, I put in my extensions because we have the event tonight too. And. Should I add a necklace? I don't know. It's a little too late, but yeah, I love this guy too. And we're off. Hello. Hey, two cuties. It'll show, it'll show you where you are on your trip to. Back from recording now. I'm so excited because I'm going to an influencer dinner for Volvo. And if you know, you know, I grew up driving a Volvo, Volvo XC60, literally sobbed my eyes out when I had to say goodbye to my car because there was just no need for it here. Um, and Katie Bilotti has worked with Volvo a couple times and so kindly is bringing me to this event with her, which I so appreciate. She knows how much I love Volvo. Like seriously, I'm so excited. Like it's crazy how excited I am. Um, and the theme was, or the, the dress code was smart casual with a midsummer twist. So I wasn't really sure what that meant. Because when you think smart casual, you think blazers, but then midsummer twist, you think like flowy dresses, whatever. So I think this dress is perfect. I'm obsessed with it. It's from Abercrombie. I need to see if they have other colors. It's like a little, almost like drop waist dress, but then there's cutouts on the side, so it's a little bit spicy. I love it. It's black and white. And then I'm wearing this little white kitten heels, like pointed toe, and then of course my Bottega Jody and some random different jewelry. Okay guys, I'm off. Testing, testing. Those are my first words today. Good morning, guys. I'm tired. Last night was so fun. It was so beautiful. We were there. I didn't get home till like midnight though, so I'm a little tired. But, very exciting morning for Danny. I'm walking to Soul Cycle because Caitlin, one of my best friends, was like, 
Danielle, I really feel like you'd like this instructor, Jonas. He's so fun. Um, and he plays a lot of Drake. And I was like, okay, sure, let's do next Friday, 8 a.m. And then she texted me a couple days ago and she went to sign up and she was like, Danielle, it's a sign. It's a Drake themed class. I was like, oh, I'm extra in. I'm extra in. So walking there now, kind of nervous because you guys know I don't really spin a lot anymore, but I'm excited. We did it. Oh, yeah. Wow. That was so fun. I literally looked at Caitlin as soon as the class was over and I was like, thank you. I knew she would like it. It was such a vibe. It was, it was such a vibe. It was all drink. It was so fun. Like we, she sat in the back with me. Where do you usually sit? Like middle. middle. Yeah. yeah. It, it was just, fun. I loved. So much fun. It was so much fun. It was the best start to the day. Jonas, I will be going back to his classes. Such a great vibe. Packed house. Everyone was there to just have some fun. And I'm really happy, so thank you. Let's start to the day. Now we're going to Maman. <laughs> Immediately came home and showered, put on this face mask that Lauren Wolf posted about. It's supposed it's a collagen face mask, and you're supposed to wear it until it turns transparent. Um, that's like when it like soaked everything in. I'm just gonna keep it long, on for as long as I can. Um, but it's Friday, yay! And I'm so proud of myself. I think I'm gonna try and go to SoulCycle like once a week just to like keep that muscle going. To I'm gonna try to go to Jonas, honestly. He is so fun and he's not too intense, like screaming in your face. He was just such a vibe. Like I literally had the best time and it'd be fun if I like went with Caitlin whenever she goes. So that's the update. We'll see if I actually keep up with that. I'm about to be traveling, but you know, it's whatever. So that's the end of this week in my life vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm about to start a weekend in my life, so don't you worry. You're not gonna miss a thing. I love you guys so much. This is a weird way to end because you guys just see me. Um, subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.